Hey everybody. Yep, you know you become German when you start doing things that only Germans would do. <laughs> Let's get started. So, the first thing that makes me feel like I'm German is that on free days, I enjoy going for a walk. Now, <laughs> why is that a German thing? It seems like all of my neighbors and everyone around me that are German always go for a long, brisk walk on their free days, whether it's a holiday, whether it's a day, uh, a, a, a day of leisure, the weekend. But as a family, they go for a walk. Now, I'm not with my family, I'm walking by myself right now. But it's a habit that I have picked up. <laughs> and it's quite beautiful. Man, I talked about this in another video about there's so much, uh, so many spaces where you can walk through and travel. One of my favorite spaces, I'm like, there's a path built right in the middle of a field. And I'm pretty sure both sides of this field are owned by the same person. And you see the woods behind me. It's also a lovely feel. And it's just a path that I can just walk through. I'm free to roam it. I'm not going to get on the grass. Um, I'm not going to get on the grass. Because I just out of respect. Uh, but when I get up here to the wooded area, I will walk through the woods a little bit. And just enjoy it. This is the first thing let me know that I am part Jeremy. In the previous video, I talked about how Americans love to drive everywhere. And one of our favorite pastimes is driving. Riding around in my automobile. My baby with me at the wheel. Cruising the speed of the radio. No particular place to go. <laughs> um, and someone corrected me. They said Germans also do that. You don't have to have a particular uh, seat goal. There's nothing wrong with going for a drive or a cruise. And quickly, I realized I was wrong because on Sundays, every Sunday, you will see maybe 50 motorcycles drive by where I live. And you'll also see a lot of old timers, um, cars from the 40s and 50s and maybe even older, drive by as well, about 50 as well. It's like a parade. Now, the difference is, I think those are normally clubs that are driving by. Because when I drive down the road sometimes on Sundays, I will see that many of the bikers will meet up at the same beer garden. And the same for the old timers. There's a beer garden that they love to go to after they complete or in the middle of, the, middle of their drive. And so I do think there is some type of goal. But at the same time, I was wrong. And I'm thank thankful for the correction. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue my walk. So, the other two things that make me feel like I am German are number two i meet people for coffee and cake coffee and cooking in england they have a special time for tea and cookies in germany they have a special time for coffee and cake now i don't want to get in the whole discussion of why cake is not a dessert there's something for another person another time another video but for this video there's a part of the day in between brunch in between lunch breakfast dinner where people meet up for coffee and cake you'll meet up with someone at someone's house or you might meet up in a restaurant and you order yourself coffee i don't drink coffee i drink tea and i will meet with them and i'll enjoy a piece of cake and it's something that's it's a big pastime in germany i've never gone to a restaurant in america just for coffee and cake i might go to the cheesecake factory or somewhere like that and eat cheesecake after I've had my meal but just to go for that piece of cheesecake and something to drink never done it before
even though there's a there's a really nice barbecue place where I live that has some really good delicious cakes. But like I said, I've never just gone there for the cakes. I had to have the barbecue with the cake. Uh, now, and I said I drink tea. The truth is, I probably really drink sugar with a little bit of tea. <laughs> Uh, I just I just love sweet tea. In America, I always drink sweet tea. Uh, if I were to, no matter where I went, restaurants or at home, I always drink sweet tea. And when I come to Germany, ice cold sweet tea, let me be straight. And I come to Germany, and they don't really have that in the restaurants. They do offer tea, but it's normally warm and hot. And uh, I had to convert to drinking something warm if I'm going to be part of the culture. Then I partake in it as best I can. But I have to add so many spoonful of sugar for me to drink it down. Uh, and cake, I mean coffee, I don't even try it. <laughs> a side bit message is one time I went to a Turkish restaurant, an authentic Turkish restaurant in Germany. And of course, they knew the person I went with uh, knew the owners, and so they started, they gave us a few complimentary drinks and food. And uh, at the very end, they gave us a little small cup of coffee. It was like espresso. And it was kind of like how my grandma would drink it. Straight coffee, nothing in it. And I added three spoonfuls of sugar. And remind you, this is a small espresso cup. I added three spoons of sugar, still too strong. My friend told me, he said, you have to drink it because it would be impolite if you don't drink something. And I said, okay, if I don't drink this. I said, okay. He said, well, this is what you need to do. Put a, a sugar cube in your mouth and then drink the coffee. That was the only way I could get it down with the, with the litter of the sugar cube in my mouth. Right. The third thing that made me feel like I converted to being a German is drinking something warm. Not just coffee or tea, but uh, the third thing is I don't drink many drinks with ice anymore. I've gotten accustomed to not drinking drinks with ice. In America, I feel like I always drink every soft drink or water with ice. I had to have a whole cup full of ice. Of course, you get free refills in America. In Germany, maybe because the refills aren't free and the cups are a lot smaller, you would not put a piece of ice in there. And I've gotten to the point now where if I'm going to have a soft drink, sometimes I will still drink it ice cold. There's other times I'll just take it from out of our storage area hasn't even been refrigerated and I'll just drink it straight up like it is. No ice, none refrigeration, just a straight warm drink or sometimes just tap water without ice. And I've gotten used to that. <laughs> My friends said drinking cold drinks are bad for me anyway. I don't know. I've never had a problem with it before. But I have noticed that I've quite enjoyed drinking warm drinks. So those are the three things that make me feel like I am slowly converting to be in the Jeremy. Tschüss.